I wanted to give a shout out to the folks who helped me get this repeater. Uh, this is definitely not sponsored by them. I paid for this with my own hard-earned money. Uh, but the folks over at use-radios.com uh, have a very wide selection of all kinds of radios. Um, and I truly uh, hope that you go and check them out. If you are in the market for a repeater, handheld, mobile, base station, uh, they can definitely help you get what you need at a much lower cost if you, than if you were going to buy it new. Everything that they have is uh, tested, inspected, and guaranteed to work uh, upon arrival to your home. Let's get to the video. Thanks! Appreciate y'all tuning back in. Wanted to come in and give you a slight update on the uh, Vertex repeater. Uh, as you can see on the desk, we've got a few things set up and hooked up that we're going to be testing uh, today and give you some quick feedback on our experiences we're having with this new repeater. So let's jump right into it. Um, I'll tell you off the bat. We've had a loss in distance. Um, our service area uh, within 15 miles, any direction is decent, is good. Um, but you know, prior to this, we were pushing probably 25 to 30, almost double. So we wanted to find out what gives, and we are going to get a lot of answers right here today. So. Uh, without any further ado, let's test the output of the repeater. Now I'm going to bring this down so you know we are testing it after the duplexer that would go straight up to the to the antenna up on the top of the shack, which we'll go out there and look at that in a minute. Um, but let's just let's just take a quick test. Let me move this closer so you can see. We're using the middle set, right? So this is sold as a 40 watt repeater. Now 40 watts is out of the back of the unit. Keep in mind we're having to go through that six cavity duplexer. So we're going to be using the middle. So you got 10, 20, 30, 40. So great would be up here, but we know after the duplexer it won't get that. So let's check it out and see what it does. It's hovering just below 25 watts. So we know that on the poor man's repeater, we were getting, it was right around 33, 34 watts. So this is part of our issue with distance, right? Is we don't have as much power going out the stick. Now, let's make sure that the antenna is good. As you are aware, we have a, a new antenna up top. So we have... The SWR meter hooked to the LMR 400. Let's turn this on. I'm hoping you can see it. I know it's small. So let's get down into 462s. We're sitting at a 1.18, 1 1.17, 1 1.16. Let's take it up to 467 just to see what that end looks like. I'm just toggling it here, sorry. 1.17. So we know it's not the coax or the antenna. The difference in our system is going to be strictly from the loss of power once that 40 watts gets dumped into this six cavity duplexer. That's, that's the amount of, of loss you have. So what are the fixes, right? Well, let's talk about those for a minute. All right, let's go outside and take a look at this antenna. There's my sign on the door. All right, so let's talk about this antenna. I know I've shown it to you before on a few pictures. So what we're dealing with here, this is a 12-foot building. You've got about a 2-foot stand that you really can't see. 20-foot pole, and then we have a... 17 foot GMRS uh, tuned antenna uh, that's about 17 feet long. So, base of the antennas, you're probably 
just shy of 40 feet. Um, that's, you know, when, when we were kicking 40 watts out, almost 40 watts out on that, um, we had all that range. We're gonna, we've already ordered a, I think it's a 54 or 56 foot uh, easy up pole. Um, we're gonna come here next to the shack somewhere in this general area, uh, dig us a, a three or four foot hole, concrete the pole in, and we're gonna we're gonna extend we're gonna extend it. We're gonna try to get the pole, even though it's 54, 56 feet. We're gonna work on uh, getting it just to to 40, right? 40, 45 feet, and um, and then putting a uh, five foot diamond GMRS antenna on there. I think those are about six and a half dB gain. Um, and that should get us some back, right? So we can't add power, but what we can add is distance. So, um, so that's kind of uh, what we're going to try. Um, you know, our, our biggest issue here is the uh, hilly terrain, right? Uh, I'm currently sitting at 900, and, we'll just say 960 feet. You add 35, 36, 37 feet to that, that puts you right at 1,000, but we're, we're needing a few extra feet. If we could get 20 extra feet on there, that might be that might be the trick. If not, guess what? We got to get rid of this one, and we got to get a bigger unit that'll output the uh, true 50 that we're allowed to. So, kind of an update, kind of kind of disappointing. Not this. Disappointed, definitely not upset. We knew that we were going to lose some here, right? I didn't figure it would be uh, damn near half. Um, so if 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 losing half is a concern to you, uh, and and you might have some thoughts about it, put something in the comments for us and and let us know. Um, you know any any thoughts or feedback you might have about that. Um, you know, any anything, uh, any feedback you can provide us is definitely helpful. Um, so just wanted to throw that out there to you real fast. I hope uh, that's helpful to you. Once again, the trials, tribulation, blood, sweat, and tears of, of tinkering with GMRS and radios in general. But hey, uh, it's 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 a lesson learned. But um, you know, we're we're gonna see what we can do to fix it. And it uh, get, getting the guys together over here to erect another antenna. Yes, we'll have another erection party. Everybody's invited. Um, we'll get a new antenna up, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get some better coverage out of it. Go watch some of our other videos. Check out the uh, Terrain Matters video that I have up. Come join us on our Facebook group, Medina County, Texas GMRS, and post some comments and pictures of your setup there. Uh, I'd love to see what uh, all of you guys and gals have. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. So just a real quick update to the update. We have changed the frequency on the repeater, uh, changed the tone. Uh, I think I'd mentioned in a few videos, we have had some minor interference with a repeater up in San Antonio specifically the Leon Valley repeater. Um, just didn't want to cause any issues, so figured it was the right thing to do. Um, we did have a awesome experience with uh, getting a programming cable for the Vertex, getting the software to program the Vertex. Uh, I will be posting a link to the gentleman's website on here. Uh, super great guy, super helpful, and super cheap for uh, what he provided. Uh, excellent customer service. I recommend if you have any type of radio that you need a oddball programming cable software for, uh, you look this guy up on his website and uh, patronize him. Uh, super, super nice guy. Um, I'll be doing another update once we have tested it. Uh, we just got it fixed up this past weekend, so I don't want to give too many details yet because we just don't know them uh, but this is where we stand right now and uh, i'll have you another update on the repeater soon so hope this is helpful and i sure appreciate all of you watching have a great day and we'll see you on the next one check out some of our other videos like subscribe share with your friends 
and we'll see you on the air soon.